Hello, hello, this is Brian with Zimco Survival. And today I have the Trangia. Let's see if I can show it to you guys here. The Trangia fuel bottle. Now this is the one liter size and I'm gonna go ahead and go through this with you guys in as much detail as I can um, without making this video too long. So let's go ahead and get started. Now this fuel bottle is made out of the same exact material that you will find a gas can made out of. Um, it is gasoline safe, alcohol safe. Um, you can pretty much put whatever kind of fuel you want in here. Now the only thing you cannot do is pressurize it. So if you have something that you need to pressurize the fuel with, you know, you can't use this bottle for that. Um, now like I said, this is the one liter size. Um, they do make them in half liter and one third liters. But the reason I really liked this fuel bottle was A, it wasn't metal, it was a plastic. And I know a lot of people like metal ones because they think they're more durable. But in my experience, I just, they tend to get dented and stuff when you're out hiking and I wanted something that was a bit more durable than that. Um, as far as, you know, resisting just general wear and tear damage. Now, this is all plastic with the exception of two parts. One being this aluminum ring here which reinforces the threading and keeps the fumes um, from being able to escape out through the, the side here. Now, because this thing is all plastic, this aluminum ring really helps to make sure that the threads stay nice and tight and you won't get any leaks. Now, this is currently full of alcohol, and the reason I did that is because alcohol has a very low viscosity and Water may not leak, but alcohol might. As you can see, I have no, no leaks coming out of this thing. Um, I really, really like this fuel bottle. Now let me go ahead and talk to you guys about what actually means something with this bottle and what's so different about it, which isn't the bottle itself. It's this piece right here. It's the valve. Now, <clears throat> this particular fuel bottle, let me go ahead and take the valve off for you, if I can get it off comes with a very cool valve that I have not seen any other fuel bottles come with. And that, that's what it looks like right here, once you unscrew it. Now, the way you use this valve is you unscrew the top like this until it's about even with the plastic piece. And then you push down on it. And when you do that, it releases the alcohol. Now there's only one problem with this valve and it's a very easy fix. I don't know if you can see it, but I actually, if you take, let me unscrew it a little bit more. You see that little black ring? I added that washer in there. Um, not washer, that, uh, well, a rubber, a rubber washer because the issue is when you push this down, it creates a gap around that little post and the alcohol will leak out of it. Um, if you have it turned up like this and you push it down, the alcohol will leak out of this section right here. It's a very easy fix, just add, adding a little rubber washer to it to uh, create that seal. Um, costs like 79 cents at Home Depot or Lowe's. So in my opinion, definitely pick up a washer if you're going to buy this bottle. It makes a world of difference um, and really solves the only leaking problem it has. But once you're done with the fuel bottle and you've poured out the amount of alcohol you want, you just take and you screw this little piece down until it's tight. It doesn't have to be monstrously tight. Um, just, just tight enough to create a good seal. And it will prevent the valve from opening. Um, as you can see, the valve, no matter how hard I push on it, the valve will not move. And that <clears throat> is a wonderful feature because it means that I don't have to worry about this thing spilling around inside of my bag. So let me go ahead and show you what the pour looks like. Um, so you guys can see for yourself, this is the easiest alcohol bottle I have ever used when filling up an alcohol stove. It is really, really nice. It's a fantastic alcohol bottle because of this valve. And I'll show you what I mean. So when you pull it out and you want to use it, like I said before, you just unscrew this little cap here. Not all the way, but you unscrew it a little bit. Then you push the button. And you see that? See how easy that is? You get a perfect flow. You don't get any of this good, good, good crap. Um, you get a good, smooth flow on that alcohol bottle, and it really does make a world of difference. Um, 
when trying to fill up one of those little alcohol stoves. You don't spill anything, you don't waste any alcohol, it's really, really good. But there you have it. You know, it's an alcohol bottle, short review, but I hope I was able to show you guys kind of in detail how it works and how much I like it. Um, so thank you guys for watching, and as always, if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you guys so much, and please have a great night. Bye-bye.